Hello guys and welcome to the Protection Paladin Changes and Rework Guide for the BFA Alpha. So as usual in my other tank videos I'll be doing the survivability talents and then full damage talents. Um, so yeah, one thing I'll say from the start of this video is that Protection Paladin is one of probably the most unchanged classes in um, the whole of BFA. Like there's not much change to it. There's just a few spells added here and there. Which just help the all round um, way the spec plays. So, first off, your um, first talent tree is just stays the same, nothing's changed. So, you want to take Blessed Hammer again due to the fact that the um, boss's auto attack is going to deal 12% less damage to you, which is obviously what you take it for. Holy Shield was good when we had the um, legendary talent ring, but now you use Blessed Hammer all the time. Especially with the fact that we can get a. Um, there's a chance we get a Grand Crusader proc. So for next you have um, Crusader Judgment. Judgment now has two charges and Grand Crusader now also grants a charge of Judgment. First Avenger as it was in uh, Legion and Bastion of Light. I like taking Bastion of Light just because it's that extra for survivability. It allows me to use Shield of Righteous more. And yeah it just allows me to survive more. And as you can see you can use Bastion of Light now and just get more charges up to keep up my Shield of Righteous and just keep make sure that I'm keeping up my armor as much as possible so I'm staying alive when damage is incoming. Next one is the CC tree. It's down to you. I like taking Blinding Light due to the fact like when I'm about to break away from a pack I can just use Blinding Light and Cavalier away and they're just going to be days there. So for the next one there's a bit of reasoning behind my talent choices here. I take Cavalier over Blessing of Spell Warding and Retribution Aura due to the fact that in my next talent tree I take Knight Templar Due to the fact that it's just an extra defensive you have, the Divine Steed. So that if, worst case scenario, that you run out of um, Shield of Righteous Charges, you can just use your Steed as an extra defensive and save your Ardent Defender for when you're really, really low and you can use it to um, stay alive when you're about to get fatally hit. So that's why I take Knight, Templar and Cavalier. If I wasn't taking Cavalier, I'd probably take Spell Warding and then therefore I'd be taking Hand of Protector just for that extra healing. Because Hand of Protector is really, really good. Especially when you're standing in your Consecration. Because there was a Legendary that was in Legion where um, when you're standing inside your Consecration, your healing's in increased. And that's kind of added into Hand of Protector. But um, Light of the Protector is still very, very good. So for your next one, Judgment of Light. Judgment now applies Judgment of Light to the target, causing the next 40 successful attacks to heal 76 for the attacker. And Consecrated Ground, healing allies inside your Consecration. And Aegis of Light. The reason I take Aegis of Light over all of the others is because it's basically a defensive for you and it's a defensive for your whole whole group. So you put that down and everyone's taking 20% reduced damage behind you. So it's like a mini, it's, it's a mini link kind of thing. Not that you share the damage, but everyone's taking 20% less damage. So it's, re it's a really, really good effective spell. And it's better than Consecrated and Judgment. Although it won't heal you, the Aegis, it's just going to allow the healer a lot less stress when a big damage spell is coming onto the group. Everyone can stack up in the Aegis. Put down a link as well, you're just not taking any damage. So for your last talent tree, last defender, each enemy is just like it was in Legion, the last last set. So you want to take Righteous Protector, show that Shield of Righteous reduced the rain cooldown and Light of the Protector and Avenging Wrath. So you're able to get more self heals, and obviously with Avenging Wrath, you're increasing damage done by 35% and all healing done by 35%. So especially when that's up, you're just not going to die because you're going to be doing a lot of damage. You're going to be healing a lot of Light of Protector, so that's really, really good. So now for um, the, the full full damage build, so I'll just quickly do that now. So the, the damage build, it's, it's pretty much the same as Legion, there's no change. Because you won't be taking Aegis, so you're not using any new spells, it's literally all the same. So you want to take um, Blessed Hammer again, due to the fact it's going to be hitting all the targets, and they're going to deal less damage to you. So that's really, really good. Next you want to take his first Avenger, due to the fact that with us getting a blessed, blessed Hammer, Blessed Hammers, we're going to get um, Grand Crusader procs more, and especially because Avengers he Shield is going to deal more da more damage to the primary target, we just want to use that. So first Avenger. Next one's down to you again. Obviously I said I like Blinding Light, so I can just daze all the targets. Next one, um, you want to take what you want. So I take Cavalier here, just for extra speed, just to get away from mobs and, you know, pull more. Next, what you want is really down to you. Again, I use Divine Steed just for the fact that it's an extra defensive. So when I'm on it, I'm taking 20% reduced damage. And I'm, I've obviously got that speed buff, so it's just an extra defensive. And for next, you want to take is the Judgment of Light. 
because you want to be using judgment a lot, a lot, a lot, and especially with that healing, you can you can help the group out and the healers out with that judgment. I guess I've like gone cool damn I'm, I'm retarded. So now what you want to do is even last defender is good, but seraphim's just really, really good in general for um for d damage. You can use that now and just you're going to be doing really, really big damage with the um, increased mastery. Um haste crit verse so you're going to be doing really really big damage so yeah obviously that grand crusader it's going to hit really hard on them so if we just showcase the damage so obviously i'm going to start with my blessed hammers keep up my shield righteous at all times use up my blessed hammer so i can get some shield of righteous blocks use judgment so that um everyone's getting healed try and get a uh, grand crusader prop use like the tech i need and yeah, that's basically it for, for Holy Palace. They've not been changed a lot, but yeah. The small small tweaks such as Aegis, you, you know, you just got to be ready to use that whenever damage comes in. But yeah, Prot is just looking steady and strong. Not much has changed to it, but yeah. Anyway, uh, like and subscribe if you like the video. And if you want to see more guides in the future, then comment what you want to see. And if there's anything I could change for a future video, just comment that as well. I'll try and reply to every single one. Anyway, thanks for listening and watching and see you in the next one.